Hello, hello, it is Chris Raquel and I am back again with a, another video for you all. One topic that I want to discuss with you today is being grateful for what you have, not being jealous of other people for something that they have and you don't have. So one thing that I'm seeing is that a lot of times people, they may be satisfied with something that they have. It may be a vehicle, it may be a home, it may be a job. It may be your income, your salary, or your hourly wage, but as soon as someone finds out that someone else has something better, they oftentimes can become jealous or envious. Sometimes we look at it and we'll think to ourselves that it's a natural thing or that it's more of an innocent jealousy, but there's also times when that envy can cause that person to really dislike the other person, um, target them in certain ways, or even grow a disdain or hatred for them. So that's why I wanna talk about this because this happens a lot. Um, I was speaking with someone recently and um, I was just discussing that, you know, if you, really knew what people were thinking about you and your life and your successes you probably choose not to have friends <laughs> um of course when you are you know striving to follow god it's probably unlikely that you're gonna have so much anger and rage and jealousy towards someone but um you know just normal everyday people well we all are normal everyday people um it's easy to fall into envy and jealousy. So, um, you know, want, we wanna be mindful of that. And you know, there are people who are blessed with certain talents. There are some people who have favor in certain ways. And we just need to figure and just think of ourselves in terms of what we want, what we're striving for. And don't feel that anyone, you know, is better than you if they have something that you want, or don't feel that now you want something because someone else has something better, something that you perceive as better. Um, I shared this one with someone recently. I said, you know, I'm super happy. I love my ring. And I just talked about like, let's say there's someone who has a small ring. And, and when I say small, maybe it's very dainty, delicate, feminine. Um, maybe they have super small fingers and maybe they have like a, a, a small diamond, a, a small carrot diamond. Maybe they don't have a diamond, maybe they have something else. Maybe, yeah, I won't use the size of the, well, I'll give two examples. First would be the size and they're so satisfied, they're happy. They never told their significant other, a potential husband that they wanted a certain ring because they didn't care. They just wanted to be married and they are one of those people who all they care about is the love. Jewelry doesn't really mean much to them. So they were presented during their proposal. They were presented with a ring and um, a ring that more resembles the rings from like 50 years ago. You know, the everything nowadays, in the, at least in the United States, has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. So something more delicate um, and maybe like a, a, I think back then it didn't matter the size. Even nowadays it doesn't matter the size, but back then it was like even more so. I don't think it was a big deal, I'm guessing. But let's say it's, you know, it's reminiscent of those days. And then they're super happy, they love it, they are so in love. And then let's say their best friend gets engaged um, the following year. Let's say she was presented with a ring and she knew exactly what she wanted. Let's say her fiance or previously her boyfriend took her to a certain shop um and she said this is what she wanted and he said okay that's great he didn't say he had a budget but she just knew that um based on how he was acting she can get anything that she wanted and let's say she's a glamorous person and she you know likes everything big and bold and um luckily her fiance was able to provide that so <laughs> or let's say he, i don't know yeah it, it's less about him and more about the situation so that's the ring that she wanted. She just always had a vision in her life. She wants a humongous ring, um, whatever it was. So now 
that best friend who got the smaller ring, she was super happy when she received it. She loved it. She never cared about jewelry. That means nothing to her, whether it was a diamond or whether it was something else. Um, it didn't even have to be gold. It could have been silver. It could have been a family heirloom ring from his side of his family, his great grandmother. But when she saw that this person, her best friend at that has a big ring, maybe it's not even big, maybe it's just bigger than hers, and everyone's oohing and oh, and maybe not everybody was oohing on over hers. They're more so just congratulating her. Oh, it's a very pretty ring, gorgeous. I wish you guys the best. Um, but then she saw maybe, well, one, when she saw the ring, but then also could be another scenario. Maybe other people were oohing and eyeing over her best friend's ring. So that caused her to um, one of two things. It could be the more innocent jealousy and envy that we talk about. Let's say she um now she's like sulking a little bit now about her ring and she's looking at her friend's ring like oh, that's really nice um it seems like i never get a break you know oh, i guess my ring is nice you know yeah like it's nice i guess or it could be the other scenario where now she this starts to dislike her friend starts to distance herself from this best friend that she had or even a good friend that she's had for all these years and you know she just all of a sudden stops liking her she starts criticizing her and you know oftentimes the person might not fully know what's going on you know there's spirits and things like that or maybe she does know why she all of a sudden wants to talk bad about this person but we just have to really be mindful of those things this this and then you know the friend who has my nice ring she may think that her friend is generally happy for her um and then you know she notices that maybe they're not talking anymore starts to think maybe she did something um but you know honestly she's probably gonna never know what the real reason is what the root of the issue is if they start having problems i think it's always important to look beyond the surface as well um let's say the other friend now um she may distance herself because now she's like oh i don't like my ring i don't feel so good about it or maybe she just starts distancing herself maybe she told someone yes this girl she's been bragging about her ring and um you know thinking that her ring is better than mine and then maybe it gets back to a friend the friend's like wow like i would never do that i can kind of see how she thought that but i'm not, I'm not the type of person that wasn't my intention i'm going to apologize to her she apologizes even though she didn't have to and, or she was just trying to rectify the situation which is fine and the other person still doesn't want to talk to her so hmm, it's kind of strange if somebody apologizes this is your best friend why now why don't you want to um resolve this conflict potential conflict um and then um when in reality she's just upset about what the girl has received and something that she did not receive and honestly she didn't even care to receive in the first place and there are some times where maybe um maybe the person did want something something specific and they didn't get it let's say um i want to finish with the rings too so it can even let i said it could have been a diamond ring it could also be maybe someone has a they wanted always wanted a gemstone ring and um the person ended up getting something that wasn't a gemstone it was a diamond and then they weren't too pleased about that but then um someone else got exactly what they wanted you know now they're not gonna be happy with them either but anyway my point was just to say a lot of times when we satisfy with something and then all of a sudden we're not and we become jealous of people um, and this is another situation that's a little bit different. Let's say you were up for a promotion. Let's say you um, started at a company. You were in the same training class with someone named Beth. Um, well, I also say someone named Caroline. I like the name better. <laughs> someone named Caroline. And then all of a sudden now you, it's two years later there's a promotion there's an option you you want to be promoted in this company you've been in this company for a while you just started this position like i said with um caroline though but you've both been in the company for a while and then two years later you're in that same role with her and you know there's an opportunity for another role you want to be promoted you you want to move up in this company you've been there for several years um you've been there for i'll say four years and um, you you mentioned to your manager this role and she tells you to go ahead this is something that she's gonna post and you can apply then later on she comes back to you and she says oh wait a minute actually um you know this role is actually filled so we're not even gonna post it and it turns out that the role was giving to Caroline let's say Caroline was also a good worker you were also a really good worker you feel that your boss 
prefers maybe her personality, but you know, you excel, you've always excelled. You're always receiving promotions at any company that you're at, but for whatever reason, you feel that um, Caroline is receiving some uh, special treatment or you feel like, hey, this is not fair, should have been posted. I don't care if that manager and other managers agreed. I should have received that role because I'm a better worker and you know, you, you may have more skills or whatever reason. But I would say, uh, you don't want to be mad with that person. You know, you don't know what if that role entails. Maybe that role is not for you. you there's another opportunity. Sometimes you don't always get what you want and you have to understand that. Um, let's say Caroline received that role and then now you're like, mm. now you start treating her some type of way. You don't even know why. Well, actually, you know why deep down, but um, everything that she does now, it annoys you. And, you know, you think of all the reasons why you're a better fit and you could have been a better fit or you guys are both great workers. Maybe you're a little bit better than her, but for whatever reason, they chose her. Don't be mad at that person. Don't be envious. For whatever reason, that role is not for you. There's been so many new roles that I've applied for, not like a promotion within a company, but when I don't get those roles, I'm not crying. I'm not sad. I'm not um, heartbroken. I know that there's something else for me. God has something more for me, something better, something that's going to lead me to the position that's for me. Um, so it's just very important not to be envious of people because um, there's even been times where, um, let's say I have, I've had a certain role and, you know, I'm a great worker. I have the favor of God and um, I've received promotions and, you know, I've noticed there will be people that may, you know, be a little bit envious. Maybe they're older than me in their mind. They're thinking that they should have had that role. I'll never know exactly why, but it's evident that the person has a problem with you. And, you know, you know, you're kind hearted, you know, you're um, respectful, you're fair. So you just, I start to just think of what could the problem actually be. Um, and then, you know, we just want to really make sure. So I think I've talked about two things already. It's mainly about, you know, some people will be satisfied with something that they have. And then um, all of a sudden they're not satisfied because they see that somebody else has something else or um, has the same as them or better. Sometimes there's friendships where people will only want to be your friend if you're doing the same as them or less or if you're doing less. Um, you're doing worse than, off than them, right? So you want to just be mindful of that, be careful. Um, and, you know, sometimes let's say someone shows that they're envious or jealous of you. You don't want to think to yourself, ah, let me just cut this person off. Mm -mm -mm. Continue to be yourself. Continue to do what you have to do in this world. And just know just because this person showed like a hint of jealousy, there's so many other people who are probably you know, thinking negativity about you, not to make you nervous, but a lot of people, it's very, like if you don't, um, you know, check yourself often, um, a lot of people are, if you don't check yourself, it's, you have a propensity to be envious or think negativity about other people. So just be mindful of that. Like, it's not just the person who showed their truth. There are a lot of people like that. Um, that was the one scenario I talked about just, you know, being satisfied at first and we see that somebody's doing um, the same as you or better you're upset the other scenario is um, just being jealous overall thinking that you should have received something that you were trying for you did not get it and now you're upset at the person who got it you don't know if it's that time and you always want to treat people with respect i always say treat people how you want to be treated i remember when i was in a catholic school either kindergarten first or second grade i'll never forget there was something on the wall well i know <laughs> everyone knows this thing but treat others as you want to be treated or do unto others as you want to be treated um no do unto others as you want to be done unto you it's true because if you're going to treat somebody disrespectful whether it's somebody who beat you with something or whether it's a manager you don't like to think you know more than just know when you're in that position the same is going to happen to you um when you receive a promotion over someone who maybe had tenure maybe they were there longer than you maybe they're older than you they're, you're gonna be mistreated most likely you know people believe in karma or whatever it is but there's laws of the world so you want to be just be mindful of that um and then i one thing that came to mind when i thought of the first scenario which is um someone who's satisfied at first and then they're no longer satisfied once they see that somebody is at the same level or better than them that is going to be in scripture so i immediately started thinking of this scripture i had to look it up just to see what chapter it was it's matthew 20 and 
it is great like it's it um applies so much to these scenarios and that's why i love the bible um so it's the parable of the workers in the vineyard and i even have it on my computer just in case i need to refresh so basically a man went out early in the morning i'm assuming it was like 5 6 a.m he had a vineyard and he went out looking for people to work that field for the day or work the vineyard for the day and he offered them that he said hey come work in my field you know i work and i will pay you a denarius or a denarius i'll just say it was i'll pay you a hundred dollars whatever a good or whatever a fair wage is for that day and they agreed he came back out at 9 a.m so i figured before it was like 6 a.m so he came out 9 a.m and now he says hey come work in my field and he says i'll pay you fairly for what you work and they went ahead then he went out again noon lunchtime and he said to those people who were laying around something similar or hey what are you doing out here you want to come work in my field or come work in my field and they went ahead and he said i'll pay you fairly for your work and then he went out again at 5 p.m in the evening time and he said to those individuals, oh, what are you guys standing out here doing? Come work in my field. Or, he, or I think in this scenario, they said, um, well, no one has hired us. And it might've been at, no, sorry. He said it was 12 p.m. and also 3 p.m. and also 5 p.m. So either 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. I think he said, what are you guys still doing out here? Um, you are supposed to be working or why are you just standing around in this city square? Like, and they said, oh, nobody has hired us. He said, all right, come on over my field and work. So, um, from there, he said he had his foreman. Um, he said, okay, work's done everybody now. I'm gonna start paying you all. And he started paying, I believe, the, those who were hired last. And he said, all right, here. I said, I was gonna pay you all fairly. Um, the ones he said he was gonna pay fairly for their work was from 9 a.m. through the 5 p.m. hires. The ones that happened early in the morning, I'm saying 5 or 6 a.m., he said he's gonna pay them a dinner, a full day's work of wage, full day's pay. So when he got to the workers that he hired last, 5 p.m., he kept going back, and he started with those that group, and he gave them a denarius. He gave them the wage for a full day's work. Okay, then he went to the 3 p.m., 12 p.m., and then 9 a.m., and he all he paid them all that amount. When he got to the last group, the early group, he they 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 had assumed that he was going to pay them more than that. So now he now when he's paying them, he's like they're like, wait a minute, you gave them the same as us. Why? That's not that's not fair. We've been slaving out in the sun since the early morning 5 6 a.m whatever time it was and then that last group that you just paid um they got the same as us like what is up with that um and then the the owner of the vineyard was like didn't you agree to the 100 dollars or the denarius which you know it was a fair days that's a good rate for that pay it was fair did you not agree to that and now you're jealous because i'm generous um you know get away from me pretty much so that's an ex an, an, um, an example uh, that's a perfect example so i know a lot of people would probably be upset by that but first of all the man told you how much he was paying and you agreed to it um you know in some of the instances when he went out to look for people some of them said no one has hired us so maybe had he found them early on at 6 a.m he could have paid them back in those days or just in general people need work so they clearly agreed to work for him so they obviously needed to work they were most likely being genuine when they said no one had when they said no one had hired us so if he wants to be generous with his funds and he has it like that he's able to do that so i think a lot of people would have been upset and the bible and that parable is teaching us that we cannot be upset we cannot be upset if you know if you have agreed to something right let's like say the ring situation you are fine with whatever with what you received in, per, in terms of that example that i use about maybe a young lady they don't care about that you're so satisfied you agree to say yes you love your ring it's beautiful a ring is just a symbol of someone's love and you accept then you see someone else got what you got or i can use another scenario let's say you were dating your 
um, your person for, um, you've been dating them um, for 10 years and you haven't been proposed to and then one of your friends been dating the person for one year or and well, I'll just say one year and then they were proposed to you can't be upset at that person you were satisfied to date that person for 10 years without being married or without being proposed to don't now be mad at someone else or let's say you um you make a good living and you've chosen to spend you like you like nice things you like designer and you've chosen to purchase designer bags and designer um outfits and then let's say you know you like buying for yourself you're satisfied doing that and then let's say you one of your friends or someone you know has decided or um decided that they want to purchase a home um you had the means to purchase a home but you i don't want to say squandered you decided to put it into other things so even though you have a good income your income probably would have been better put to use for something else maybe a home or to invest in something but you chose not to unless somebody else invested in a home or a second home and now they're using it they're flipping houses or they're using it to get a rental income and now you're looking at them envious you chose to do what you wanted to do there's nothing wrong with what you chose but um somebody decides to make a um wise decision and invest in property or purchase a home for themselves and or in their potential family so we just have to be really mindful we cannot look at other people stress about what anyone else has you looking at other people you gonna be looking behind you to the side what you need to be looking at as looking forward and trying to get to where you need to get to and if you're focused on other people it's just not going to help you you're not going to advance in life um you're going to be so it's going to make you angry a lot of people get angry when other people are doing well um a lot of people become upset at other people when they're doing well for themselves um let's say let's say someone um let's say there's two people they went to school together they went to elementary middle school high school primary school together and then they have similar opportunities they both did really well or they were pretty good in school they were on the same level in terms of academics and what happens is um one person decides that they want to go to school they want to continue and go to college the other person decides you know what i want to take a year off i you know i just need to reevaluate what i want then the other person decides that hey um now they're upset because let's say the person graduated they went on and did other things with their life and then now this other person didn't get the chance to go to school you can't be upset at the other person who went to school and you shouldn't be be happy for people i was speaking to someone just said it's very hard a lot of times for people to be happy for other people um you know but that's why you need to always pray um ask god for guidance and he will help you because everything that's for you is for you you know you just need to focus on god and what he has for you in this life and just continue to move forward because that's all you can do um but hopefully this helped you let me know if you have any questions or concerns or if there's anything you want me to discuss uh, i just thought it was really important and it was just kind of on my heart because you know it's easy to if you're not careful to look at other people but you're never going to move forward if you're not looking at yourself you know sometimes competition is a good thing but not to the point where you're going to be disliking someone for doing better than you or being jealous and jealousy i feel is linked to you know like hatred and those sorts of things so just be careful because you know if you're not being mindful of your spirit and how you're feeling it can fester and become even worse so hopefully this helped you and i hope you have a wonderful blessed day bye bye